Welcome to the next episode of Random Euro Truck Simulator 2. We're going to actually start this episode by saving a bit of time and doing the, the random number thing straight away. So first of all we're doing it for the point allocation which is between numbers 1 to 6. As always, oh it's number 2 again. That's crazy. That's two in a row we've had of number two. So that means we're going to be driving, I think it's now up to one and a half thousand kilometers. Okay. And the next thing is the companies in the city we're located in, um, which is called Santiago in Spain, not in South America. Um, and I've had a look. There are five companies there. So it's between one to five. And it's number one. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do then is allocate the skill points to number two, which is long distance. So, yeah, it's up to one and a half thousand kilometers. So, we're really making progress with that. That's quite a long way. Can't believe we haven't had just in time delivery yet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten skill points um, that we've allocated. Nothing to just in time delivery. Okay. Um, let's now go to the freight market. Um, we are in Santiago and it was number one. So that is this company here. So we're, we are remaining in Spain. We're not going to be going to Portugal. Um, this time around so we could be heading back to Burgos which is just where we've come from we'd be doing I don't know if it's the same company because I can't see there's something in the, the recording logos in my way um, I'm not sure yeah, but it's the exact same journey back to the same city so that's we wouldn't want that we would not want that um, Leon is similar it's the same way it's just yeah going on just not as far so I wouldn't particularly want that one uh, it still would be a new city I suppose it would be explored actually the money's a lot better for that one as well um, and an articulated trailer and then the third one would be Salamanca so if I had to choose one, I'd probably go for that one. Um, why not? Something a little bit different, slightly different direction. Um, but yeah, no, none of them exactly uh, are, that, are that exciting, to be honest. So let's go for it. I'll press set as GPS destination. Um, I'll also have a look to see how far this pickup place is. Let's have a look. Fourteen kilometers. It's a bit of a way. It's the other side of Santiago, so we'll have a good, a good old little uh, sniff around Santiago. See what's doing there. Okay. So let's just check where these places are. Oh, there's Leon. So yeah, I mean, if we got Leon, we'd just be going back in the exact same direction. Not particularly exciting, is it? Um. Obviously, yeah, Burgas, Burgos is there. We've just been been to, and yeah, I can't really go back a different way. It's the only kind of real viable way to travel without going miles out of my way. And Salamanca is here. So near the Portuguese border. Okay, let's see where we end up. Right guys, let's get going.
Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. That's a bit, <laughs> a bit dodgy. Um, oh, it looks like we're not set to go anywhere. Let me just set the um, thing up. Which company was it? It was. It was number one, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Time to get the job done. Actually, that'd be all right. So that's my cat trying to get onto my laptop. Exit. Oh yeah, I remember now, this place is quite, it's quite far. Exit. It's the other side of the town. Is that a roundabout? <laughs> That's a funny looking roundabout. Nice, I've never seen anything like this before. Wow. An interesting style of roundabout. It's a roundabout, we don't actually need to go round. Hmm, residential area. Interesting. You don't often drive for residential areas on this game.
I'm really interested in this. It's all very, all very residential around here. So the choice is one to three. I'm actually filming this quite a few hours later. Um, so I can't actually remember what the three options are. I mean, I can't remember what they are. I just can't remember which, which, exactly which order they're in. I think I remember. Oh, I think number one is the um, is going back to where we came from. I think it's the return journey, if I'm not mistaken. Let's check. Okay, so let's make the pick. Number one is indeed Burgos. So we're heading back to where we came from, um, which is disappointing. Let's go. Let's go. So much. <laughs> roads so so much road well so many roads to explore and we are um, <laughs> heading back on the exact same road to the exact same city now the only thing i don't know is if we're heading back to the exact same um, place where we picked up from right, that'll thanks. check now who's your number plate Where's the Spanish number plate? Is that just me or? I can't really see that. Is that a number plate? That's weird. Anyway, let's have a look here at the route. So I can't, there doesn't seem to be any point in changing the route. God, that's a bit long-winded, isn't it? I guess that's the only way you can go. Um, we could go that way. No, no, we can't. Well, no, that's fine. We'll just have to go that way. So, yeah, it's the exact same route uh, when we get to Burgos. Um, 
yeah it looks like we're going to a place we haven't been to at least it's a different it's a different um, company um, but yeah it's, it's all the same okay well it gives us a chance then to um, look at the route in a bit more uh, detail um, so have I done that correctly did I don't press anything did I that's no, fine but what is it 580 kilometers I suppose that we are coming from a different company as well. This isn't the company that I dropped off at. Dropped off, yeah, dropped off at um, in Santiago, of course. It's just a coincidence. That's all it is. It's just a coincidence. And a bit of an annoying coincidence. Could have gone that way. Should have done. It'd have been new road. God, I regret that now. <laughs> I could have done a tiny bit of new road. What's the point of that? Why have they even done that? There's something interesting around there. Very residential, isn't it, around here? Interesting. Exit. It's usually when you're in a city, you get a lot of um, industrial areas. Yeah. Here, it's more more residential. Difficult place to get out of, isn't it? It's quite big here. A lot of sort of turns and whatnot. And unfortunately, we're going to be driving through the dark. This is about as light as it's going to get, I think. <laughs> get ready to turn left. Turn left. Oh, I'm a so we're going to do a little bit of new road coming up. Get rid of At least that's something. Church there. That's nice. Well, this is new road at least. Must be near the centre here. It's actually quite nice here. It's got a bit of character to it. Look at that. I like this place. Yeah, it's really nice. Very nice. It was the best, definitely the best place I've been to in Spain so far. I mean, from a Euro truck simulator uh, point of view. And it's interesting, I wouldn't have thought a place like this would be so interesting. 
because it's a place I haven't even heard of. But yeah, thumbs up for Santiago. I really like this sort of the architecture, the character of the place. Well, that's interesting. Got a van with its uh, hazard warning lights on. I like this. People sitting there on the benches. At the roundabout, take the first exit. I like this part as well, this is all very nice. The mountains in the background. Obviously, I don't know how similar this is to Santiago in real life. I've never been there. It's really nice, this place. Might have to visit there. I think we're coming out of it now. So I think I can zoom out. And that's it, we're out of Santiago. I think the, Santiago, the part of Santiago we were in, originally, for the drop-off, was somewhere on the, like, coming up on the left, so it's like a completely different part, you didn't actually get to see the city. So I'm glad we did get to see the city in the end, because it was definitely well worth it. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. I remember when I was on early episodes, back when I was driving in France, I was saying like, oh, I really want to get into Spain. <laughs> now I'm wondering if I'm ever going to get out of, out of Spain. To be fair, there's still a lot of Spain we haven't covered. We've only done the northern part of Spain, and even then, not all of it. There's the far northern road that we haven't done, that goes like in the same direction that what we're doing, sort of east to west, west to east. Uh, like Bilbao, Santander, haven't done that uh, that road. It's quite a big country, Spain. Um, who knows where we're heading next to?
Alright, here comes the dark, which I'm not, don't really want to see. Get your cash out. So we're heading towards Madrid. I'd quite like to see Madrid. Just to see what that's like. I mean, if Santiago is impressive as it was, and that's a small place, I wonder what they've done to Madrid. Speed up.
I actually have a little story to tell um, thinking about it um, related to driving in Spain. So I have driven in Spain before, uh, just the one time. So we were staying in Portugal in the, on the, Alga, in the Algarve. We rented a car and well, we had a car the whole time we were there, yeah. We had a car for the whole five days, I think it was whatever it was we were there for, four or five days. And one of the days we drove to um, Seville in Spain, a few hours away, not, not, not too far. Um, and on the way back, on the way back to Portugal, it was um, it was eve, it was night, I guess, and it was dark, like it is now. And something weird was happening when I was driving. I was being flashed quite aggressively, it seemed, by like a lorry. And he wasn't letting me overtake him as well. It was like really, really weird. Something it might have been multiple vehicles that were like acting weird around me. There was certainly this one lorry driver I seem to remember. He was really acting strange and aggressively towards me. I have no idea why. And eventually I realized that I was driving with my full beam headlights on, which is obviously really annoying for uh, <laughs> other vehicles. But I didn't realize I was, I didn't, wasn't, I didn't do that purposely. I just, you know, it was a rental car and I wasn't familiar with the, you know, the, the functions of the car. And once I realized, I obviously turned, turned them off, but and that, then I realized, yeah, why there was that animosity towards me. Um, and yeah, so that's my experience of driving in Spain, driving from Portugal, Portuguese border to the city of Seville and back to Portugal. As I've said before, driving on a motorway in the dark is not fun. I mean, we could be on any motorway in Europe here. It wouldn't know any different. You could, you know, you could tell me that, oh, we're in, uh, I don't know, we're in, we're in Germany. And I'd be like, okay, I believe you. <laughs> Whereas in the daytime, I would know that this wasn't Germany because I'd, I'd see from the, uh, the terrain. I can see it now because of the, because of the light. It's like we're 
keep right there. Yeah, I'm going to the right here, okay. So it's going to be interesting now that we can travel up to 1,500 kilometers. I mean, there's me talking about being stuck in Spain, but I mean, on this next journey, we could be miles away from this region, potentially. We could be in Italy, um, northern France. Switzerland, I guess. Well, I'm not really sure. I don't know exact distances of these places. Just estimating. It's funny if I get sent back on my next journey to um, the place I came from to get to, um, I can't know where we're going, to that city originally, that something, Estacion, that basically that old abandoned train station. 
on the border with in the Pyrenees on the border on the border with France, because then we really would be retracing our our steps. It's Burgos, I think we're going to now. So yeah, to get to Burgos originally, initially, we came from that some estacion place. Or, it'd be funny if I got sent back to uh, Santiago again. Imagine that. I'd be able to drive that with my eyes closed. Police. Something. Some kind of service vehicle. Probably is. Oh my god. Yeah, it was the police. <laughs> oh dear. That wasn't very clever of me, was it? To speed right in front of a police car. Didn't even know I was speeding. All action here. Yes, yeah, so I don't remember being very impressed with Burgos last time. Just seemed very... What's the word? I keep forgetting that word I want to use. Generic, that's the word I was looking for last time. Just seemed very generic, just seemed like a kind of industrial estate. Maybe there's other parts of the city that we haven't explored, like, you know, like with Santiago. Um, with Santiago, I've pretty much seen it all.
Why do we have to pee roll at 40 kilometers per hour along here? Oh, it's gone up to 90. Didn't make any sense. Right, here we are again. So yeah, nothing much to see here, nothing of interest in this part of the city anyway. Well, this could be anywhere. Well, at least this is a new place for us. I mean, I've been to this company before, but not, not in this city. Right, how are we going to do this? Let's decide. Um, I don't think there's much space up there, so I think I'm going to do a U-turn and approach it from the other side. myself some more maneuvering room get in here as well I think I don't think there's a fence there is there let me just check yeah I can drive through that I think uh, get my bearings where am I yeah yes I can I can drive to the right Um, right. Uh, I can't see. Where's the back of my truck? <laughs> Let's give this a go. I genuinely don't understand. Oh, I can see it now. Okay. I'm with you. Wrong way. Wrong way too much. That looks pretty good actually. That's very good. I think I can swap positions. There we go. I must say, I'm impressed with my parking skills on this one. Myself, probably a 10 out of 10 for this. Pretty much. I'm going to get in just the first time. Nice. Okay. Right, we now need to park up. Um, I really I want to be heading to a garage because I plan to do some yeah, it looks like Burgos is pretty small there's nothing much here I wonder if Santiago has been played around with with uh, by pro mods I'll check later um, maybe it's even a pro mods city 
completely. Because <clears throat> this Burgos place is just, it's just not the same level, is it? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to go to Garage because I'm going to be doing some mods. Um, so I'll have to end up back at the garage anyway. <clears throat> Ready to roll. It's a very generic city. This it's just got no character at all. There's no like, there's no shops, houses. It's just all industrial. Go on. Careful, mate. Mm, so I've been here before. Must have done an update last time as well. In the same place, I think. Anyway, let's park up. There we go. That's the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching.